Well, the story you saw here on this newscast last month, a downtown Albuquerque businessman enraged with the homeless issue in our city. And new today, he is now working with the people behind the issue. Unfortunately, it just makes me feel stronger that things are worse than even most of us think. Um, so today was, for me, it was about listening. Quite a story here. He's meeting with a woman who's currently experiencing homelessness in the hope of understanding each other. The goal to come up with a plan to help tackle one of the biggest issues in our city. Reporter John Carnelli was exclusively invited to that meeting. Yeah, that's right, Shelly and Doug. Doug Peterson, one of Albuquerque's largest property owners, and Mama Z, a homeless woman living on the streets, got together to talk about the homeless crisis our community is facing and present plans to try and help. It's a story you'll only see on 7. Just three weeks ago, we met Doug Peterson at a downtown street corner. Most of our properties that we own around Albuquerque, we have to clear people out every day who are trespassing on our properties. While we were interviewing him, a homeless woman named Mama Z walked by and heard what he was saying. The reason I, I stopped, we were going to pass by and I said, no, I said, that's a businessman and it's probably political, so I should listen in. The two connected in front of us and exchanged information. I believe in synchronistic moments and I believe that God, the universe, the great spirit, Yahweh, whatever people call him, because that was not a chance meeting that you and I should meet. I shouldn't even have been in Albuquerque, but things happen. This afternoon, the connection formed off of pure chance reunited. One question I have that you have a, um, experience with is our shelters, I hear, are not occupied, uh, not fully occupied, and I hear a lot that uh, the people who do go there say that they are dirty and they are not safe, True. Uh, and that a lot of folks on the street are resistant to go there for some of those reasons. Yeah. What's your experience with that? I've been to all the shelters here. Uh, the staff, uh, you know, I don't know how much I want to say, but it is not a pleasant experience. Z and Peterson sat for an hour to have open conversation about our city's homeless crisis. Z presented Peterson with what she believes the homeless need here in Albuquerque. So you've got the A-listers. These are artists, buskers, people that have jobs, people that get Social Security. What they need in housing is community homes. A grading scale that people who are homeless are sorted by before entering a safe space. The what I'm proposing is a downtown site where we can service between 40 and 50 people immediately or within a good time frame. She says downtown is ideal so people don't feel far removed from society. The reason we want to live downtown is the same reason that you do. It's a lot of fun. Z envisions the space as a supportive collective. You need to get your social security, there's people that have already gone through that, you know. Nobody's alone in that. Uh, we help them set goals. We work with sanitation, housing, and fun. It's going to be art and music. Both Z and Peterson have shared common frustration. They say the city has not listened to their suggestions. Z says the city council has tried to shut her down when she shows up. We all went and they, they tried not to even let me speak. She was yeah. grateful Peterson listened to her ideas, and Peterson learned what those on the streets of Albuquerque are going through. You know, I, I don't have any more solutions than I did when I walked in here, uh, but I know more now, so I'm going to take it all in. An unlikely friendship formed. What I encourage them to do, and they encourage me to do, is keep speaking out. From the power of supporting each other's voice. Uh, whether you're someone on the street or whether you're someone who owns a bunch of property, you got to speak out. And we reached out to the city today about the meeting the two had. In a statement, they said, Mama Z has previously met with FCS leadership in the mayor's office on several occasions to share her lived experience, something FCS values in our work. The city values her proposed ideas, and she always has an open invitation to collaborate. I'm John Cardinelli reporting KOAT Action 7 News. Mama Z also told us she is willing to work with the city if they truly want to work with her.